Hi everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome to a new episode of City Skylines. This is Kintry Islands, and this is the farm where we left off on the last episode. And if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I do, I do Let's Plays, tutorials, tips, tricks on City Skylines. And if you like what you see, click the like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And today we're going to get into building the start of a city center. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the next thing we're going to do is prepare the land by terraforming it a bit. I want the city center to sit kind of flat on the top here. And then it's going to pace down towards the river there. And I just want it to come in at a nice little angle. I don't want it to be too sharp of a um, hill. So I just want to terraform this out just to make sure it's nice and smooth and to give it a good place for the roads and the assets to start. So next we're going to start the entrance to our city center. I use gravel roads because they're cheaper than uh, the real roads in case I make a mistake and want to delete it. So I will upgrade this to the nice fancy roads with trees and I'm probably going to make it a one-way system. Now I do know this is off the six lane road coming right off the highway which could cause us some problems with traffic and stuff but we'll see what happens. Uh, we could always change it up later on down the line and uh, yeah we're going to just keep putting in just, um, just the roads to start and then we'll continue to move on. Next I'm going to start adding the assets. So first we're going to start with City Hall and then we're going to add some other buildings that I like to add to my city center. All the assets added are in your unique buildings and they get unlocked with different milestones that you uh, have to do. And uh, the more you unlocked, uh, they stay unlocked with every game you play afterwards. So once you unlock City Hall, it's unlocked forever under your account and you don't have to worry about unlocking it again. So a little tip is I like to make a throwaway city. I, I like to call it a throwaway city. And I did that to just kind of unlock all these buildings. I've got most of them unlocked. Some of them I haven't, but 95% of them are unlocked. And that was through just making a throwaway city just to kind of build up what I needed just to unlock these buildings and now I have them forever. So here I noticed when I put this uh, city hall down that the terraforming wasn't all the way back the way I wanted it. So I do adjust things as I go along and fit them the way I want. And then I can smooth out the back later on when I start working on that area. Another thing to take note of is the unique buildings. Some of them you may not have if you don't have all the DLCs. I happen to have all the DLCs, so I have all the unique buildings, but if you don't have a particular DLC, you might not have a particular building. So the next asset I add is the courthouse. I think it's appropriate for the area. The next building is the local registry office and that also fits well. Next we have a district office building and I figured that why not, that should be there too. Then I put in a city office building. So it fits right in there perfectly, so I use that as well. Mm -hmm. 
So now that I got the middle kind of filled out, I kind of just run some roads around it and I will add additional buildings, but right now I'm just looking at the shape and the size of the city center itself and then we'll go ahead and just continue to run some roads and terraform a little bit just to make it a little bit smoother and this takes a little bit of time but it does add a lot to the area quite a bit um, I do end up moving some buildings down a little bit and making some unique shapes out of the roads just I think it just uh, adds to uh, the uniqueness of everybody's own city center that way uh, so it's your own make it your own um, here I think the uh, windmill was in the way that's not gonna stay I actually just placed that just to give us some temporary electric for now I think I'll move it down to the farm area later on Here I'm just kind of thinking about future where I want to put the placement of a six lane coming down in here and I think I eventually change it to a four lane somewhere along the line maybe I don't remember too much but um, I'm also trying to check out the land and how it's terraformed and see how it reacts to the roads because sometimes it bumps up and sometimes it doesn't and how I'm going to add roads to complete this area in the back. So I'm trying to keep in mind everything. So now that I made these unique squares in the front, I decided to add assets that actually fit the whole square just to fill it in and make it nice and unique. So I did add the Meteor Park and the Statue of Wealth because they fit just perfectly in those squares. Next I go to town putting in some walking paths. So walking paths are awesome. They get your residents up and around without using cars and it definitely helps with traffic. Now this is another way to make your city very unique. You can put them in and you can make designs with them. I like to crisscross them a little bit and make them, you know, kind of overlap each other a little bit. I guess you would say but here I just kind of made like a little square over the highway so they can kind of pass back and forth here I was having a little trouble fitting it in but that little one house shouldn't have been there in the beginning so I kind of just remove him and I think I do the same to the other side and I get them down there's a nice crosswalk right across from the high school so they can cross the street there and get to the city center so you may have noticed that I use the snapping um, options quite often. Snapping can be either your best friend or your worst nightmare. Sometimes it's just the way it is. Sometimes you can get a lot closer to the road by turning the snapping off. So you'll see me adjusting the snapping quite often just to get what I want. Uh, so that is another tip. If you want to get your walking pass just going a certain way, Try playing with the snapping options because it does help to get things fitted just a little bit better. Another tip would be is if you want a crosswalk to change the road to a different style road. So here's a quick look at the city center and we're going to add to it. So I found the city arc and I'm going to place that right into the beginning of our city coming in on this six lane. Next I'm going to place the building with some government offices. Next, I place a downtown hotel. If people are here for business, they can stay the night. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to make some minor changes, do a little bit of a road rerun and a building exchange just to fit these in a little bit different. Uh, I wasn't quite happy with the look and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of changes and be back. So not only did the roads look a little off because they're dipping, um, I just didn't like the way they were terraformed in. So I kind of backed that up and terraformed this a lot more smooth here on the top here, uh, just to make it look a little bit better. I didn't want the roads from the city center dipping down just yet. Later on when I add to the back of that, I don't mind it, but here on the city center, I wanted it to sit flat. So here's a little overview of our city center. I think it needs some decorating, some trees, some nice bushes, and I think that will make it complete. Right now, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, I think on the next uh, episode, we're gonna go ahead and build a little bit up in our town. Uh, we have not hit high density yet, and we need to hit high density in order to fill some of this area out. So I think we might make a nice little small town somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. I haven't started working on it yet. But uh, yeah, we're going to probably make some kind of small town just to get our population up to hit the milestone to get the high density. So uh, I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, click the like button, subscribe, comment, share. And I think our city is moving along quite nicely. Thanks. Bye.